check and and again these robber coverage is the defense called and based on the formation we would check the coverage to the away side um, we talked about ice being our, our base two back pro uh, formation check with a six by one alignment of the weak safety sky would be the check to a nub tight end on the back side where the weak safety takes a width alignment bronco would be the check versus a, a, a form of a one-back set where we had a, a tight end and flanker to the away side. Uh, we would call the passing strength here to our left, to where the X and H are located, the two skilled receivers, and the away side would be to our right. Uh, we feel like we got a favorable matchup there. Bronco is a man-to-man -man check. We're going we're gonna to man up our weak corner on, on number one week, and we're going to we're going to man up our weak safety on on number two week here. Being a tight end, his alignment would be on the outside eye of the tight end, six yards off. It's a square stance right there, flat foot read, uh, reading end man on the line of scrimmage to tight end. He's still in a position to be our force defender on any type of run to him, and he's in a position to be a cutback player on run away. Uh, now his rule would be he would man up, he would man up that tight end on any type of vertical route, and we define a vertical route as any route beyond linebacker depth. So any type of vertical route he would take, and any type of uh, out cut, any type of flat route, flag cut, banana cut, he would man up. Uh, the only route that he wouldn't take there would be the undercross. If that tight end released hard inside underneath the linebackers, he'd zone that off and help uh, look to help on, on number one backside on probably some type of a dig route. Um, still playing robber coverage to the reed side. Uh, nothing's changed there. It's possible we'd get a zone it between the free safety and tough corner if we anticipated some type of scissors cut. Um, with the linebackers and a one back set, we're gonna key we're gonna key through our guard still at the back. But we're, our initial pre snap read is what we you know if they're in the shotgun, which side is the back aligned to? Um, the will linebacker could end up having the back man to man if he if he darts across the formation on the snap of the ball or if he were to align to the to the way side of the coverage and come out on some type of flare or or uh, flat cut, the will linebacker would we use the word slice slice with him taking man to man. Uh, if the back stays to the read side, blocks or releases into the pattern, then we're going to expand our Sam backer into the into the curl flat zone or into the hooked curl zone rather, and uh, the will linebacker would look to wall off anyone anyone trying to cross from the read side of the coverage to the away side of the coverage. So that's our Bronco adjustment, and uh, usually it's it's used when we have some form of a two by two and a and a and a tight end to the away side. Solo solo is a coverage check that we make um, when we're playing robber coverage, and we have a three by one formation. Passing strength is to our left. That that's what we're declaring as the read side of the coverage. We play our, our robber concept to that side. Uh, solo, what that means is it, it tells, it's a, it's a weak safety communication to the weak corner and the will linebacker. It's telling the weak corner that he's responsible for number one weak. He's man-to-man, -man, all routes except the undercross. Uh, he, he has the option to play off-man coverage, off-man technique, or press coverage, and and that would be uh, you know that would be determined by his ability and uh, what you know what what he's been coached to do. Uh, if he's playing off, he'll let that undercross go. He'll, he'll man up any other type of route by that uh, by that X end. If he's uh, if he's playing press coverage, he'll he'll lock on any route. Um, he'll take the undercross. The weak safety's alignment when he makes a solo check is 10 yards off the line of scrimmage. On the outside eye of the offensive tackle, he's still keying that that end man on the line of scrimmage. That offensive tackle for a run pass read right there. Uh, if he gets a run read, he's he's still our force defender. He's still our cutback defender on on run away. 
if he gets a pass, a high hat read there by the offensive tackle, or a, a cloudy read, you know, which is a possible play action read, he he's going to what we call slide the line towards number three. So he's he's basically going to to to, to shuffle his feet towards the read side of the coverage and eyeball the number three receiver. In this case, the Y. If if he's getting any type of vertical route from that from that number three receiver. He's going to squeeze it. He's going to take it, and uh, that's how we would defend four verticals out of a out of a robber coverage. Um, you know, any type of four vertical route, our free safety would lock on two vertical, and a weak safety would take three. Um, we got a situation where three and two had a near split, or maybe they motioned to to form a near split between three and two. We'd have a communication between the weak safety and the free safety, similar to our zonic call, um, you know, where we, we would be able to handle an exchange route between two and three. Um, again, the linebackers are, are reading the back here. If the quarterback's under center, yeah, they got a key back. It's a little bit easier if, it, if the quarterback's in the shotgun, and they're going to key through the guard to their back to determine whether the will backer would end up being in man coverage or he'd be a low wall player. So that's our solo adjustment to three by one. This diagram gives you a, a good look at a, a pattern that, that we could see um, when we're in solo coverage. We're, the, the back's aligned to the away side of the coverage here, so the will linebacker is, is aware that he could have to slice through any traffic to, to maintain leverage and lead position on a possible flare or wheel route. Uh, the weak corner would be locked up on, on one week. We're, we're getting a vertical route by three strong. Our, our weak safety sliding the line to three, squeezing that. Probably get some help uh, from the same backer there. Versus a smash route over to the read side of the coverage where we're, we're getting a high-low concept on the corner. Uh, the corner is going to sink there. This free safety is going to squeeze. The corner is going to sink. He's going to make a hitch call to the strong safety. We're going to run our strong safety, you know, who's already in a good width position. We're going to buzz that, buzz that hitch with the strong safety. Uh, that'd probably be a zone it situation right there. Um, if by chance we we weren't going to play zone it, we you know our corner our corner could be more aggressive on on uh, on Z there. Okay, a Charlie a Charlie adjustment. Um, versus uh, a form of a two-by-two two set where we have a, a wing to the away side of the coverage. So we have two, two possible threats to the away side in, you know, aligned tight between you know, Y and F or you know, whoever this is, a second tight end, uh, a, a slot receiver, whoever it is. We will make a, a Charlie adjustment here and play this more like a cover two. We're going to have our, our weak corner aligned three yards off the line of scrimmage and three yards outside of number one week in this case. Um, he's going to read read that second receiver and, and play, a, play a cover two technique in which he's responsible for reading two, you know, based on what two does, um, sink or, or squeeze the flat. Our weak safety is going to align much like he would in solo, um, except he's going to move inside of number two. He's going to play... Uh, 10 yards off of 10, 8 to 10 yards off of uh, of the tight end here in a Charlie. Depending on who this is, and you know whether this is a tendency to run or pass, we might tighten him down to 8 yards. But base would be 10 yards, flat foot read off the end man on the line of scrimmage, key run pass, and uh, you know any type of vertical route out of this would be the weak safety's responsibility. We're going to use the will linebacker if he gets a pass read by his guard to try to wall off. Probably the the why you know, but anything coming inside vertically, we're going to use that will to wall, and then he'll be he'll be he'll become our curl to our hook to curl player there, and uh, we're still playing our robber coverage to the to the read side. Uh, so it's a Charlie adjustment to uh, you know, to a wing set over to the away side of the coverage. 